Hello guys, how are you going? It's Flint here. In today's video, we're taking a look at our 3-in-1 spud gun. So, first of all, you'll notice there's one here in black, one here in red. We'll just go over the packaging. So here you've got plastic cap, which is the first use. It can be used as a cap gun. That's just simply where you put a cap onto the firing pin and then it goes, goes off, makes a loud bang. The second feature function is a spud gun operation which is where it fires out potato bits and the third operation is a water pistol so it shoots out a little stream of water uh, you've got die cast here so it is made out of die cast metal so these things are very heavy duty they, they last for a long time three different methods there it is again potato bits plastic caps water so we'll just take it out of the packaging okay so here it is I've just taken it out of the packaging as you can see it is quite small there's my hand there, give you an idea of the size. These toy guns have been around for many, many years. Um, I had one when I was a lot younger as well, so um, it's exciting to get hold of a new one because um, I lost my old one somewhere along the way. Called the Defender here, Crime Fighter. Same on the other side. You've got the orange tip here. This can be removed. So without further ado, we'll go outside and use the three-in-one different functions. So before firing the toy gun using the cap function, just wanted to quickly show you guys how that works. So included in the with the uh, package that we sell this and this in, you're going to need to take one of the rings out, grab a pair of scissors, and you're going to need to just cut one of the blank uh, one of the caps out, like so. And this allows you to squeeze it onto the hammer and you need to push that on quite hard. Now it's not going to go off until you actually fire it, so don't be scared. And now, as you can see there it's on. So we'll go outside and give it a shooting test. All right guys, so we're outside and it is a beautiful day, as you can see there. Um, okay, we'll just put on the tripod. All right guys, so we've got the cap gun here, fitted the cap onto the firing pin. Just push that on nicely. Now guys, we do recommend that you use safety glasses. When we were firing it, we found that it was spitting quite a bit of powder back, so just a little recommendation there. Alrighty guys, so now we're gonna be showing how the water pistol feature works. Put the red plug on, so that just simply clips on like that. Then you're just squeezing the trigger, dip it into the water, release the trigger, sucks in the water, and then and that shoots about 15 feet. The stream of water so you do have to uh, refill it after each shot okay guys so we've got ourselves a potato here uh, mr. potato is going to be our ammunition so now we're going to be showing the spud gun feature so simply remove the cap then simply squeezing the trigger dig it into your potato Twist it at a 90 degree angle. As you can see there, we've caught that piece of potato. Then release. That sucks it in. Now you're good to shoot. Then you just repeat the process. That shoots about 15 feet. Makes quite a nice little sound as well. And once you're done with the spud gun, you can simply place the orange tip back over it. All right guys, so that concludes our review. If you're after a cap gun that fires semi-automatic, then we can recommend our die-cast government, which is a semi-automatic uh, die-cast metal cap gun that fires eight ring uh, caps. So I'll post a link to that video. I'll post a link to the item in the description below. It'll be up on my website or my eBay store. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you in the next one.